Hello, I'm Philip Bergson, I'm a film critic, and these are the five films that I think every city trader should be watching. The first film is probably the most famous, Wall Street. We're going down a drain, okay? The stock is plummeting. It comes across as a kind of opera, because as you listen to the jargon, uh, if you don't understand the city terms, you really are in a foreign country. There is a very seductive side to what is being shown, and this is in fact, this was the first film in which a cell phone was ever used in a movie. My next choice is American Psycho. I think my mask of sanity is about to slip. It's the New York of the mid-80s. The movie is about what men can get up to, men who have power in the city. I think it just shows how too much success, if you have it, can take you too far. And my next film is Trading Places. Free slime ball! What is unusual about this film is, although it is a kind of a fable and a comedy, in the old Hollywood screwball kind of way, all of those screwball films had their feet on the ground, in a sense, and do have a reference to real life. And I think you can learn a lot from this film also. My next choice is Boiler Room. Become an employee of this firm, you will make your first million. The main character is this young, kind of college dropout who comes to this trading firm, this strange trading firm, to work and work his way up. I think it's actually, this actually, although it's not such a widely known film, was really very clever in what it was predicting. A lot of the kind of things you see in Boiler Room have actually come to pass. My last film is Capitalism, A Love Story. We're actually here to make a citizen's arrest. What is fascinating about the film is whatever you feel about the line that Michael Moore is selling, he has some fascinating interviews with actual involved people and with historical people that cannot be gainsaid. And that gives a marvelous perspective, a kind of mosaic of opinions about what has gone wrong with capitalism now.